Today let us use some uh, automation magic to update the labels. Now I was looking at this question on the uh, community today and this question is all about uh, auto populate a label from another field. Now Daniel wanted to basically update the label based on some activity maybe let us say when you transition the issue or when you update something basically based on any, any trigger he is talking about can can I update the label field with a value from a custom field not it is actually possible and uh, let me show you how we can do that so this is my Jira instance I'll create a new issue so let us create a new bug this is uh, a bug and uh, what I'll do, I'll, up, I'll update, uh, I'll, I'll basically fill in one of the uh, custom field. Uh, let us say, this is my field, hardware categories. And then I'll create the issue. Now, I've not filled in the, the label, the label field here. Now what I want to do, I want to basically update the label from this value. So for doing that, I will uh, create one automation rule and uh, using the automation rule will make sure that uh, not only we add a label when the label is empty when the label field is empty but if you already have uh, maybe some labels you don't really want to override them or delete them you want to preserve them so i will uh, go to my automation rules and uh, i have already created a rule for this and i'll show you how it works I was actually playing with it and uh, when you're working with labels it is a, a bit interesting because uh, labels are uh, not like uh, any other field whenever you're working with labels you have to make sure that you don't really update you don't really want to delete the existing labels because it is nothing but a list that you can append to or remove from a list now i am going to transition this uh, uh, transition the issue to done to trigger this and what I want to do is I want to basically use one action called uh, edit issue. Now when you select this, uh, this action, you have the option to update uh, or uh, maybe select some of the fields that you can, uh, that you can uh, modify. You have the option to use labels and uh, this can work, but you can, uh, you, you can basically uh, use the labels that you already have. But in this case, we have to basically copy the label from a, from a, custom field and in our case the custom field if you remember is uh, called as uh, hardware categories it could be any field of your choice and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the second part the child part of the cascading select list which is in this case Mac 1 so using this uh, JSON so when you when you want to do something a bit more advanced uh, that you cannot really do using these options you can always use the additional field section here. Here you can uh, basically do a bit more advanced stuff using uh, the JSON. Now if I remove this uh, from here, you will get some idea about what I'm talking about. So if you're familiar with the REST API, like how to interact with Jira, and by the way, there is uh, plenty of documentation. I have a pl lot of videos on uh, Jira REST API. but here, here if you notice you already have one example where uh, you can see here that in case you want to update the environment you can in case you want to update the labels you can see that you can specify the labels uh, within this uh, square bracket make sure you're following the proper um, proper syntax syntax of this uh, json like when you're specifying label values make sure they are enclosed in double quotes in our case we are, we are going to use uh, this uh, this uh, smart value. Now, there are two things that we have to do. Number one, we have to make sure that uh, we have to fetch the value of the cascading select list child value, which is I'm doing right now. And I'm making sure that it is enclosed in uh, double quotes. But at the same time, if you already have uh, existing labels, you don't really want to, you don't really want to uh, remove them. So I'm going to fetch those exi existing labels and iterate uh, 
uh, iterate uh, that list, iterate over the items. And uh, when I'm iterating, I am making sure that each and every individual item in that list, like in existing labels, they're also enclosed uh, with double quotes and uh, there is a comma. So once you make sure that the format is correct, you can all obviously uh, log it to your log action just to ensure that uh, this is valid. I mean, you can always, uh, when you when you are working with the rule, you can you can play with the rule and you can see the log. So I'll monitor the log uh, and I'll do some change. So this the change is basically uh, making the transition. Now, what will happen in this case, Mac 1 should be copied if the rule is correct should be copied to the label. And right now we don't have any label. So let us see how it works. So I'll change the status from to do to done. And uh, I'll monitor the rule. Let us see. And you can see success. It means something happened. And by the way, you can see in the log that there is a uh, log, I mean, there is a value here called Mac1, which we have, which we were able to fetch from the, from the existing uh, label. And if I refresh the issue, it will, of course, uh, update the label. Now, let us do something else. Let us uh, let us uh, modify this uh, custom field value and uh, we'll maybe select uh, something else. I I'm trying to select uh, labels without any space because it won't work. So it will only work when you are trying to update the values that are relevant. So if, if I have to add a new label like Pro2, I'll do that. I'll uh, make sure I'll uh, change the status to done again. It is already done, but because we are using simplified workflow, we can test it by clicking the done again. I'll go to my uh, rule. I'll uh, check my log and I'm now able to see two values. And I can office, obviously val validate if, if, it, if this is correct or not by refreshing the issue and I can see one more label and it works quite well and nicely. So we have been talking about uh, these automation rules where we are learning how to use smart values. I I'm focused more on the smart value side because uh, of course you can use automation rules and you can do wonderful things with the UI but when it comes to doing a bit more than what the UI offers you can then rely on the, on the smart values. And then uh, using smart values, you can do further things like you, if you're working with a list of values or if you want to, let us say, perform some calculations, you can still do quite a quite lot of things using these uh, smart values. In this case, of course, uh, we learned how to iterate over, over a list, which is in this case, of course, nothing but a list of existing labels before we can append it. And uh, that is how you will update a label from a custom field value as long as it is valid using automation rules. So that is all I wanted to talk about uh, in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something uh, new today. Thank you very much.